This week, I broke out a box of Easter goodies from last year that we hadn't used. I paired them with some of our cork letters and a few other things to create some fun Easter type activities. First, we started out with building a word. Does anyone have two words? Sorry. Nice they had job. trays of letters and they had to work together to build as many words as they could. Excellent job, you guys! Three, Next, I had these cute little pouches, these Easter Bunny pouches. I'm pretty sure I got them from Target. Here, we pulled them out, put their dry Take erase boards inside, and so it just made it a little bit awesome. more fun, our spelling activities today. Okay. Then it was time for a little art. My favorite. What are you about to do? Paint. Hi guys, we're about to paint and have some fun and do Miss Media. <laughs> These little stickers from last year for Easter and they're just little felt stickers. I thought it would be fun to let them create their own art on their own egg oval and then use the stickers on top of their art. I think it will end up cute. I am so excited to finally have a space where we can do our projects and spend more and more time doing messy things without mommy having to lose her mind. <laughs> so this was really nice. We were able to just nice, paint and have fun and get stuff all over the floors and it wasn't a big deal. It felt like freedom. She's looking good there. Hey, on yourself. Okay, so Savannah, is it okay if I put someone here? A moment to say how impressed I am with this little one's artwork lately. She is the best. She picks the best colors. She always makes sure that all the space is covered. I don't know. It's just something special about her artwork that I haven't quite been able to put my finger on yet, but I absolutely love it. My little girl is growing up. to our last activity for the day. It is a mass Easter egg hunt. It's always nice when you get to use those Easter eggs yet again. So we headed out. I hit a few eggs and we went hunting. Come here Savannah, over here. Over here. <laughs> there we go. Kendall, Cameron, 12. Can we see? Like last Easter. Once they collected all of the eggs, we headed back into the studio space to pop them open and match some of the math facts. There were 13 math problems, and then they were to pair them with the 13 plus one equals. They had to work together as a team, and I'm pretty sure they had a good time doing it. That is, after they realized that there was no candy inside of the eggs. <laughs> they got treats afterwards, though. No worries. 